What's up everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Life Version. We're all aboard the SSNO, which I never realized is just SSN spelled backwards. So thank you YouTube comments for making me realize that. Anyway, we are on board here and I'm actually not sure why, but the champion of Hoenn is also here, Wallace. And in the last episode, we ended off by taking down the ship's captain right here and he gave us the basement key. So now with the basement key in hand, I guess we can proceed on with the story. So if you guys are excited for some more life action, make sure to hit that like button as we're about to find out what is inside the basement what could it be i don't really oh of course it's benga why wouldn't it be benga there's also three items in here though so let's go ahead and pick those up first of all is a great ball pretty great potion not quite so great but still good and a pearl Ooh, i don't know about the pearl actually but it's kind of cool oh my you scared me come on the door was locked because of the reasons what what was this guy doing in here? What are the reasons? Oh, come on. You can't do this to me. Oh, no. Oh, okay. It's just the Quick Claw. I'm not sure where we were going with that, but I guess he drops off the Quick Claw for us. Not quick enough for me to catch you in the act, though. Like, I don't know what Benga was doing there, to be honest, but we definitely found him, and he dropped the Quick Claw because he was so scared that we ran up behind him, I guess. But I guess now that we did that, we can head back to uh, wherever Lola was. I know she was in one of these buildings, or sorry, not buildings, uh, rooms, I guess. Oh, there she is. Get out! We're not ready yet. Go find out more about Mega Evolutioning or something. Are you kidding me? So even though we did that and got into the basement, we still can't do anything with Lola. Okay, well, I'm going to quickly save the game just in case because if you guys don't know, uh, in this game, when we black out, you actually just have to start over. So definitely make sure to save in case you don't want to black out and uh, have to start over. Uh, that's happened a couple of times to me. Uh, I'm not afraid to admit it. Or why would I be afraid to admit it? I don't know. But here is Wallace no longer being crowded by his fangirls. We're getting really close to him. This is... This is weird. Hey, I remember you. Sorry about the show. I tend to get really into it. My name is Wallace, the Hoenn League Champion. Are you here because you want to know more about Mega Evolution? Well, I guess so. Only a few people know the actual secret of how the Mega Evolutions work. It has something to do with Kalos, but I'm not too sure what. I never went there, though. They say that it's a beautiful region. According to a Kalos legend, the first Pokemon to Mega Evolve was Lucario. I can tell you that Mega Lucario is pretty strong, but I'm fine with my fabulous Sharpedo. Oh man, I love how fabulous this guy is. We're going to Ballura, right? Well, I guess I didn't know that, but now we know, guys. We're going to Ballura, and the experience share is what we get from our boy Wallace. It makes training a little bit easier, but not less effective. It's an important tool if you ever want to become a great Pokemon trainer. If you excuse me, I'm going to stay here appreciating the ocean. <laughs> All right, well, we will let Wallace enjoy the ocean all he wants. I guess that's all we needed to get from him was the experience share. Still not sure what the uh, champion of Hoenn is doing here, but, you know, I guess he likes traveling around on rainy cruise ships and uh, staring into the ocean. So just let him do what he wants as champion. Of course, he can do whatever he wants. So now we can finally talk to Lola. It's done and it's perfect. Let's see how it is in battle. Oh, you wanted a twist, huh? Come on, puppy lord. Let's get sickening. Oh, gosh. The fact that she named her Pikachu Puppy Lord is kind of making me sickening right now. Or I guess just making me sick. It is sickening, though. But anyway, not so sickening is the fact that she's got a Roselia up first. And we don't really have anything too strong against it. I think, yeah, this is not very effective with Roselia being half poison type, of course. I don't know how I didn't remember that. Um, not good. But I guess that means we have to resort to our tackle. Because Razor Leaf and Vine Whip are also not going to do too much. So... We'll just keep going for our tackly tackles. Oh, come on. How could you stun spore me at a time like this? Really, Lola? Are you Lola? Okay, I, I was trying to make a Lola pun right now, but I guess the only Lola pun I can make is about the Alola region. So, Alola, Lola. Huh? No? I don't know. We're about to take out this Roselia, though, hopefully, um, as it goes for growth, which would definitely get us into some trouble if it wasn't for the fact that we just took it down. So... Now we can see the Puppy Lord in action. Are you serious? It's actually called Puppy Lord. <laughs> oh man, this thing is kind of gross. Uh, well, not the Pikachu itself. I do like the Pikachu cosplay. I don't know which one this is called, but for the most part, I like Pikachu cosplays, especially Pikachu Libre is my favorite one. Um, but 
You know, I'm talking about the fact that it's called Puppy Lord. Why? Like, I just don't understand it. Pikachu's a mouse, not a puppy. Is this some kind of obscure reference that I'm not getting right now, or... I don't know. Either way, one more Razor Leaf should do it. I could have gone for the Fairy Wind just to finish it off, but... AZ don't care. AZ just Razor Leafs you and says, See, AZ ya. Aha! There we go. Why am I struggling so hard to come up with puns every day? I don't know. I think I am legitimately stuck in pun mode. Like... If I was a robot and there was a thing called pun mode, then I guess that's me. Well, not exactly as I planned. Did you see the cool move I had though? With this costume on, he was able to perform draining kiss in battle. How amazing is that? I can't wait to try another costume. You know, I gotta be honest, I wasn't even paying attention when that happened, so cool. I mean, we definitely know that about cosplay Pikachu though. We arrived at Siataba. Please pick up your luggage and exit at the main entrance. Let's go, Orenji, it's our call. All right, let's go. Did she just save our game for us or am I imagining that save sound for no reason? I don't know, but we are totally getting out of this ship because we've been here for way too long and I want to go explore the region finally. So let's get out of here. Say goodbye to this lady first, obviously. She wants us to have a great time. So a great time we will have. Oh no, this rain does not look like a great time, at least so far, but maybe it's not raining when we get up to the coast. I don't know why it wouldn't be, but you know, we gotta go check it out. We'll just, we'll find out right now. Hello and welcome to Siataba. What the heck is a Siataba? The village, the sweet scent of harmony. I feel like that's the description for another Pokemon town, but really can't remember right now. Uh, but I don't really know why I'm exploring the outskirts of this town. We should just get to it. So welcome to Siataba Village, the home of pretty flowers and lots of rain. Definitely lots of rain. I like how the character acknowledged it though. What a delicious scent. They were not lying when they said that Nendios had the best aroma. I'm pretty sure that my new house is in the town ahead. Let's go, we're almost there. Me and Puppy Lord are so excited to see our new home. Oh gosh, stop saying Puppy Lord. I don't know why she's saying Puppy Lord, but this is pretty nice, man. I'm not into technology. Well, my man, if you're into Pokemon and not tech, I gotta tell you, Pokemon Go might be the thing for you. Then again, I've been talking about Pokemon Go quite a lot just because so many people have gotten into it and I was even reading some of the discussions in the comments um, both on Pokemon Go videos and even on Pokemon Life. Everybody's talking about Pokemon Go. It's just such a huge game and uh, I guess, I mean, I do kind of feel the same way as a lot of you guys do um, as I guess longtime Pokemon fans. It is really weird to see people that just never knew anything about Pokemon try to pretend like they know everything now. I mean, to me it's funny and I welcome all fans, like, I just hope that they stick around, you know, especially when battling, if that does come out, uh, and trading. I hope that, uh, we do have, like, legit Pokemon fans that stick around for a while and not just kind of hopping on the fad of Pokemon Go right now, but anyway, um, we have a lot of people here in this village. None of them are really saying anything too interesting. What the heck? This girl is crying! Why am I even talking to these people? It just makes me feel really sad. All right, whatever. Let's keep going. That guy doesn't like tech. That girl was crying. And this girl is taking care of this place. So kind of sad for her as well that uh, she's got to take care of all those people. But we finally made it to the Crescent Path. And uh, not quite sure what the Crescent Path is, but let's talk to her. What? Closed road? Really? It might take some time until they clear it. Better explore my new neighborhood. Oh man, Lola, Lola, Lola. I'm not really sure what to think of Lola, to be honest. She's definitely got that bubbly personality that I just love so much. You guys know I always do this dumb bubbly voice for, uh, like, the rival girl trainers. I'm really not sure why, but it does seem to fit for Lola. Anyway, I guess we have uh, the Ancient Ruins to the east and the Grassland Chants to the west. So we can check both of them out. And of course, there's a save point right in the middle, which I think should also heal our Pokemon. Yep. All right. So I've gone ahead and saved the game. It seems like we have two choices, though. We can either go to the left or right. There's the Ancient Ruins to the east, the Grassland Chants to the west. But the Ancient Ruins just sound a little bit more entertaining to me right now. So we're going to go and uh, check him out. Who sculpted this statue? Actually, who made... All of this. Well, must be somewhat ancient considering the name of this place. Explore the unknown. Ooh, I wonder if this is actually where you can explore the unknown, as in the Pokemon unknown, because of course the ruins of Alpha are normally what holds uh, the unknown in the real Pokemon world. So maybe in Pokemon Life version, the uh, ancient ruins are what houses the unknown. I'm really not sure, but looks like there's a puzzle up ahead. So could be, could be for sure. The mystery chamber. Let's head inside. Ooh, what the heck? The man does not respond. He's too focused in something. What the heck is this guy doing? He must be doing one of the like Ruins of Alf puzzles because it looks exactly like that. But 
I guess we can't solve this puzzle for now, so we gotta head out of the ruins, I guess? I mean, there's not really anything else. Ooh, a cut tree. But we don't have cuts, so... Yeah, there is literally nothing to do at the uh, ancient ruins for now. Oh well, guess we're leaving, and it's still raining. Are you kidding me? I wonder what these crystals come from. No one knows. Well, I don't know either, bro. They seem to be pretty magical, though, with how they save your game and all. You know, because saving the game is totally a thing in real life, so... Anyway, uh, over to the west instead is the Grassland Chance, which I guess is more of a route area. And I think this guy's a painter right here. I thought he was going to challenge us. I'm not sure if you're aware, buddy, but paint kind of runs when it's raining, so you might want to watch out for your little painting right there on the, uh... Oh, what is that thing called? The thing you put paintings on? The Essel? Esel? The Etch-a-Sketch? I don't know, actually. I don't remember the exact name for it. I used to be quite the artist myself. Well, I think I still consider myself an artist, but I used to go to school for it, and, uh... I used to know all the terms and stuff for painting at least, but nowadays, not really a lot of painting going on. Um, I tend to do some digital art, but you know, it's kind of different. Anyway, the whole point I was trying to make is that that guy's painting is probably running in the rain, and I don't think he really cares. Just like I don't care about all the trainers around here, so we're gonna skip right over in and level 17. Nice. I like that. We're actually getting pretty powerful now with our AZ, and I'm wondering now uh, when Flabebe actually evolves into Floet because I didn't really think about it before. I didn't think we'd reach a uh, high enough level, honestly, because I heard the game was so short, but now that we're getting closer to it, uh, I'm actually wondering, like, what level does Floet evolve at? Is it 18 or 20? I feel like that would be the level uh, somewhere around there, so definitely gonna find out soon, though, as we're about to hit 18. So if it's not 18, I'm gonna say it's level 20, and if it's not 20, then I'm gonna say it's just, uh, way too high for me to care so this looks like the place where an item finder item would be but of course there isn't anything so i guess that was a dead end and whoa a bunnelby too bad i don't really want to catch you either <laughs> not really any pokemon that i've like been interested in catching so far um aside from our floet of course or flabebe i keep confusing the name of the two and wow a pidgey oh man just love the pokemon so far a lot of tall grass is it different from normal grass uh yes Nah, I'm not convinced. Why'd you even ask that, bro? I wonder what you... What do you say if I say yes? No, wait, what? I mean, if I say no, then. Oh, I didn't know that. All right, well, the dude doesn't care either way, so doesn't matter what you answer. Uh, I guess he'll give you a pretty... I mean, he didn't give you the same response, but he still responds regardless, so you can get both item or dialogue choices there. Uh, but there's another girl fighter trainer over here. We got Lady Yasmin. And she's got a Fungus! Alright, this is definitely one of my favorite Pokemon here. Just kidding, those of you that don't know, I hate Fungus with a passion because I lost a Nuzlocke thanks to a Fungus no, once. Believe it or not, I actually lost a Nuzlocke to a Fungus. A Fungus, not even an Amoongus, literally a Fungus. I don't know how it happened, but... Ah! Ah! Octam Tan! The Grasslands Chance. I guess that's the Grasslands Chance. I don't know if I just, like, summoned a demon to my room or something by saying that. Uh, maybe I gotta reverse it, though. It sounds like a spell or something, doesn't it? I guess it's a chant, so it's kind of supposed to sound like one, but... Really not sure. Maybe I did just summon some kind of vile, horrible creature into my dimension, but... Anyway, it seems with it, I have also summoned this trainer here because this hiker totally wants to battle. For a second, I thought he didn't want to, but... I guess at the end of the day, he said, you know what, man? I think I'm down for a battle. So we're going to battle this hiker for level 18 so we can find out once and for all if Flabebe does actually evolve at that level, which uh, now I'm a little bit less convinced about it, actually. I'm just going to speed through this Rog and Rolla because why the heck am I missing so much attacks? What the? You have got to be kidding me. He used that many sand attacks that now I'm going to miss everything. And after all those sand attacks on top of it, we get put to sleep by this Clefairy. And our attack is getting lowered. Oh my gosh, this is not going to be a good battle. Look at how little did... Oh, whoa, never mind. That critical hit. But, of course, we're back asleep. Believe it or not, guys, this Clefairy actually did that. So there goes Hiker Salu. And there goes this episode because I think that's actually going to do it. So next time, we will continue our trek through the Grassland Chance. So thank you so much for watching. And we will continue our life journey in the next episode.